Now one thing that I always missed was playing music using Home Assistant. But now using this Music Assistant integration which is now an official add-on inside Home Assistant, we can now play music. Now today we'll be looking at this entire setup of how you can integrate Music Assistant with Home Assistant and then we will look at how we can actually play music using our Voice Assistant. So with this, let's get started. Okay, now to start off, what we are going to do is we are going to install Music Assistant. So for this, we have to go to settings here, then go to add-ons and then go to this add-on store. And here we are going to search for Music Assistant. So we are going to install this Music Assistant server. Now, in case if you cannot see this, then what you will have to do is go to this repository section and you should be able to see this repository added here. In case if it is not there, then you will have to manually add this. So right now, since this is already available with Home Assistant installation, that is the Home Assistant OS installation, you should be able to get this. So let's close this and now we are going to install the Music Assistant server. So let's click on this and let's click on install. Now the installation is completed. Let's start this. And we are also going to show it in the sidebar. So now this will be available here for us. So now music assistant is all started. Let's go and explore this. So let me go to this music assistant. Now this is the first screen that you'll get to see and you have to configure two things here. One is that you need to configure the music providers. That is the various providers that you want to integrate with this music assistant and the players on which you want to play music on. So let me move this window a bit here and here I'm going to add my first music provider. So there are quite many music providers here and we will be looking at the file system one and Spotify. You can also integrate SoundCloud, YouTube music or any other music providers that you have. So let's look at first of all the file system mechanism. So I'm going to click on this and by default, it's going to take the media part. So you can actually put in all your files under the media folder and then you can access it via your music assistant. Now to access this media folder, I have a video which is linked here wherein I've shown you how you can access the internal folders of home assistant using this SMB services such that you can access this folder, drop in your media files and then afterwards access it inside your music assistant. Now I'm going to click on save here and then now we are going to add yet another provider. So I'm going to add a Spotify provider here and I'm going to enter my username and password here. Now remember that you can only use premium accounts on this Spotify integration. The free accounts will not work on this. So you have to make sure you have a Spotify premium account. So let me enter the details here and now I'm going to click on save here. So this will now connect to my Spotify account and it will try to synchronize the metadata of Spotify into Music Assistant. So right now, if you see here, this icon shows that it is actually going to be syncing this provider right now. So we have configured two providers. Let's add in two players also. So I have two speakers that is I have a Google Home Mini and I have a speaker which works over AirPlay. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the Google Home Mini using Home Assistant media players. So right now the Google Home Mini is connected to Home Assistant and I'm going to connect it from Home Assistant into Music Assistant. I could have also chosen the Chromecast mechanism wherein the Google Home Mini could be detected via Chromecast also. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on Home Assistant media players and here it will ask that it needs to configure a provider for Home Assistant. So I'm going to click on OK and I'm going to click on Save here. So if you see here, you have this plugin provider for Home Assistant. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the Home Assistant media player here. So now here I'm going to select the entities of the media player. So right now I have this bedroom speaker, which is my Google Home Mini. I have this other speaker also, which is connected to Home Assistant, but I will connect this using AirPlay. So I'm going to just select this one right now. And then after this, I'm going to click on Save. So my Google Home Mini is right now available here as a bedroom speaker. Now let's go and add here an AirPlay integration. So I'm just going to click on save here. And now all the speakers that are working over AirPlay will be available here. So if I go back here, you can see the speaker which is working via AirPlay. So right now we have uh, two providers been configured. That is two music providers. We have two players also configured here and I will be adding this one more player provider. So we have this universal group player and I'm going to add this here. So using this universal group player, we can group 
various media players as one single group. So right now what we will do is we are just going to play music over single speakers. So for this, let me go to home here. And here you can see it has pulled in metadata from Spotify as well as some of the media files that are locally present on my media folder. So now let's go to the search option here and I'm going to search for a state of trance. And here it has actually fetched in the music from, from Spotify and I'm going to click on this. And this is actually now going to fetch the required metadata. So initially it might take a little bit of time for it to fetch this data. And now you can see here this is now fetched so that metadata the the other things required for it to play this music is now pulled now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to select the speaker here so i have these two speakers here i'm going to select this bedroom speaker which is my google home mini and i'm going to enable this so i've kept the volume to 40 right now so let's go ahead and play this and now this will actually download the music and it will start playing so it has already started playing right now so i'm going to pause this because so that you all can hear me well and uh, this is actually playing on my google home mini right now i can then switch to a different player by clicking on this and i can click on this and i can activate this speaker right now let me reduce the volume a little bit and then i can click on this here and now this is actually playing onto a different speaker so this is the speaker that is available here. Now, one thing that I've noticed is if you are trying to switch between speakers, you can go here and then after this, you can select the speaker here and then it will come to this player settings. So now if I click on play here and it will start playing on your speaker. But if you try to go back to the previous one and try playing from here, it will play on the other speaker also. So it's playing this music on a different speaker. I can pause this as well as it is playing on this one separately. So this is what I have found out. And with this, you can play music on different speakers. Now, the next thing that I wanted to show you is this part. So if I click here, you can see the queue view of the speaker. So right now I have this bedroom speaker and these are the songs that are in queue for playing on the bedroom speaker. So now this is how we played on individual speakers, right? Let's see how we can group the speakers together. So let me go back here. And since we had added this universal group player provider, what we are going to do is we are going to go to the speaker section and I'm going to add a group player. And here I'm going to select universal group player. And here I'm going to give it a group name like group A and I'm going to select the various group members. So right now I just have two speakers. I'm going to select these two and I'm going to click on save. So now we have a group here and let's try playing this same music on these two speakers simultaneously. Now, since these two speakers that I've selected, they belong to two completely different ecosystems. That is the bedroom speaker belongs to the Google ecosystem and this other speaker plays over AirPlay. The tracks will not play in sync because these are two different ecosystems and it's not possible to sync the music among the two speakers. So this is the warning also that has also been shown here that it will not enable audio sync between the players of different ecosystems. So let's go ahead here now and I'm going to go to this player section and I'm going to select group A and I'm going to power this on. And here you can see the volume of this group A and the individual volumes of the speakers here. So let me reduce both of them and then I'm going to now play something on this. So let me play this music and it is right now playing. Let me go to this view here and this track is right now being played on my Google Home Mini as well as the speakers which are there in the hall right now. So this is right now playing the group A. Since group A includes both the speakers which I have configured inside Music Assistant, I don't get to see the individual speakers here because this group A is playing. If I turn it off, then that's the time you get to see these speakers here. Then I can go back here, I can turn on the individual speakers and you can see this track present. And now it's playing on my bedroom speaker. So let me click on this. So it is right now playing this track over here. So this is the way you can actually play music using Music Assistant. And you saw how we can group players using this universal group. Now we just saw how we can play music using the various providers and onto the players. 
Now the main fun part is how can I ask my voice assistant to actually play some music. So for this what we have to do is first of all we have to connect this music assistant to a home assistant. So for this what you will have to do is we have to go to this hacks section. Now hacks is home assistant community store. If you have not installed hacks then I have a video here wherein I've shown you how you can install hacks inside home assistant and then after this go to integrations and then we are going to click on explore and download repositories and here you're going to search for music assistant and I'm going to click on this and I'm going to download this repository using this download option. Now this will download the integration that we need for connecting our music assistant to home assistant. Now once this is done let's go to settings and then I'm going to restart home assistant. So home assistant has now restarted what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to devices and services inside settings and then here you will get this discovered already. So what I'm going to do here I'm just going to click on configure and I'm going to click on submit. So now if you see it has brought in three speakers that is group A, um, <laughs> the other speakers that is the sound touch 300 and then after that we have this bedroom speaker which is a Google Home Mini Next. So right now we are getting these three speakers as three entities inside Home Assistant. Let me click on finish here and then go back to this music assistant here and if you see it shows me three entities here which are the three speakers that we configured inside our music assistant. So now what we're going to do is we are going to create an automation such that we can make use of our voice assistant to play music on any of these three entities. So for this let's go to settings, go to automations and scenes and here I'm going to create a new automation. So let's create a new automation here and I'm going to go to the trigger section and here I'm going to search for sentence and I'm going to say play music. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the then section here and here I'm going to then click on this player and then I'm going to say play media. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the player which we got as an entity from our music assistant. So this is usually that all the speaker entities which were also in home assistant you will see them with underscore two here because this is again brought inside home assistant via music assistant. So this is actually the entity from our music assistant for my Google Home Mini. Then this is the other speaker that I have. Uh, this is inside Home Assistant, whereas this one is from my music assistant. And this is the group A player. So I'm going to select the group A player here and then I'm going to select a media. So now here you have the options to select tracks or you have the option to select playlists. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select playlists and I'm going to select my first playlist here. So here you'll get all the playlists that are present inside your music assistant. So I'm going to select this one right now. And then we have the simple automation such that when we say play music, it will start playing this playlist for us. So let me save this automation as music automation. And I'm going to click on save. And now what we're going to do is we are going to ask our little Jarvis to play some music for us. So, hey Jarvis, play music. Da. So if you see, uh, it has triggered this automation and it is right now playing this music for us. Let's go ahead and see in our music assistant here. And if I go to this home, you can see here, this is actually being played. So if I open this player here, this playlist is right now being played. Now if you want to see this on the UI that is on the dashboard, let's go ahead and add this card here. So I'm going to edit the dashboard here and here I'm going to search for media and I'm going to select this media control card. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to select now group A. And with this I'm going to set also some kind of visibility condition. So let me click on conditions here and I'm going to select entity state and here I'm going to select group A. And I'm going to say when it is playing, that's the time this entity will be shown. So this is right now on playing. It will show me this. So let me save this config now. And we have our player configured here. So now you can see the group A player and you can now even go ahead and pause this. So once you pause it, the player goes away. Now let's go ahead and ask my voice assistant to play the music again. Hey Jarvis play music so if you see it has started the group a player and it's playing that playlist that we have already configured inside our automation 
Now, this is how we can actually play the music, but you don't want every time the same first track to be played whenever you say play music, right? So let's tweak our automation here. So let's go to settings here. I'm going to go to my automation and I'm going to open this music automation. And here what I'm going to add is a new action for the media player. And here, if you scroll, you will get this option to shuffle your playlist. So I'm going to select this shuffle option. And then here I'm going to select the device, which is going to be my group A. And then I'm going to enable shuffle here. And now with this, I'm going to click on save. Let's go back to our player here. And let's see, hey Jarvis, play music. So if you see, it shuffled a track right now. So it played a random track. So right now there are only four track inside the playlist and it changed to a different track. So this is how you can actually ask your voice assistant to play music and then after this it will play your music on your music assistant now in the voice chapter 6 home assistant devs had shown us how you can pause and resume your music using your voice assistant as of now i was not able to figure this out but in case you know about it let me know into the comments below but if I figure it out in the meantime, I will post about it on Twitter. So make sure to follow me on Twitter as well as I might make a video about it. Now I keep on making things smart at home. So if you want to support this channel, there are links into the description below wherein you can buy me a coffee or you can support me via Patreon. Now, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button as well as hit that subscribe button for more such videos to come. Till then, take care and I will see you in my next one.